What's up fellow drivers and anybody wanting to learn? Uh, welcome to my guest video for the Rideshare Guy. I am Jose, also known as Driver Man. I am a uh, rideshare and delivery driver here in the LA metro area. I've been doing it for almost five years now. I began doing Lyft back in August of 2015. That was my first day, $21 uh, from just two rides because I was trying it out wanted to see how it went. A few months later, I started doing Uber as well, so I signed up with them in November of that same year. And that 710 is because of the sign-on bonus of $500 that I made after only 30 rides. You get a $500 bonus back then when it was really good. Grubhub I started a little over two years ago. And I've got a shift uh, starting pretty soon, it looks like. And then DoorDash I began uh, last year. If you want to check out my channel, Driver Man, I do news and uh, tips all about rideshare and food delivery so that you can be aware of what's going on and also make more money. With that being said, let's get into seven tips for you to be a better pandemic DoorDash driver. Number one, don't leave the delivered order too soon. What I mean by that is after you've dropped it off, um, knock on the door or ring the doorbell depending on what instructions they left. I always at least do a couple knocks and then, st and then step back. Um, wait, you know, you no know more than like 30 seconds. I would say wait and, and see uh, because sometimes they will come out and want to give you extra. Um, I've had a couple people stop me and be like, oh, I was, I was walking away and, and the lady was like, oh, you still here? I was like, yeah. She's like, I wanted to give you some extra and she handed me $5 extra. Um, last night a guy handed me a 20. It also shows that you're trying to like make sure that, you know, that they actually got it, but you're still keeping your, uh, you know, your safe distance. Number two, uh, wear a mask, even if it's not required in your particular market, because it just looks better. Um, I think it, in, in these times with a lot of people being kind of freaked out, I think it would be better if you just wear one so that when the uh, restaurants are seeing you come in, a lot of them are actually requiring it. Well, all of them here in L.A. do. Um, I don't know about your market, but uh, I think it would make them feel more comfortable when you're going in to get the food. And then also when you're delivering the food, the customer sees that, you know, oh, you're protecting yourself, you're covering yourself in the event that you have germs, you're not spreading them around onto their food and, and, and things like that. It just looks better regardless of whether it's required or not. I suggest you wear one. Number three, skip lunch, the lunch shift, and just start at 4.30. Um, I've noticed the first couple weeks that I was doing this um, when the lockdown in LA started um, lunches I was only making like an extra 20 30 bucks um, and the big orders were like massive at dinner I was making you know easily like you know 90 to a hundred dollars uh, you know or more you know within just a few hours so I decided to just stop working at, at lunchtime because you know for only a, you know a measly you know extra you know you know, 10, 15 bucks an hour, uh, when instead you can just start a little earlier and, and people are ordering uh, dinner earlier and ordering bigger amounts and then you can just make a good amount of money there, enough, more than enough in dinner that, you know, the extra money in lunch isn't even worth it. Number four, don't refuse cash tips just because you're afraid that they might be laced with COVID-19. Um, you can always spray them down, you know, just put them aside, you know, sanitize your 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 hands really quickly, um, and then when you get home, you can spray them down with rubbing alcohol or hydrogen peroxide, um, and then just let them dry. You know, it's money. It, you can you can wipe that those germs out. Keep it. Don't don't refuse it. Number five, schedule yourself later than what you normally would. In other words, you're starting earlier, and then also when you're scheduling in the DoorDash app, you know, you're, you're dashing. Schedule it if you normally stop driving around maybe 10, 30, 11. Schedule it till 1 a.m., what the heck? Um, because is, is, if it keeps busy uh, during this time, since people are ordering more, take advantage of the opportunity to really, you know, rake it in and save up the money. I mean, if it's going to be busy, and it's going to continue being busy with more people ordering and bigger orders... Uh, take advantage of, of this, you know, 
this thing that's happening, this situation, and, and, and make more money than you've ever made in one night, in a week, et cetera, et cetera. You know, st stuff it away. Put it in savings. Take a vacation. Invest it, whatever. But yeah, don't, don't miss out. If you get tired and, uh, you know, or you want to stop, you can always just end the dash whenever you want. You can end the dash early, whenever the heck you want, you know. Uh, but give yourself that option to work, you know, later and keep delivering, you know, if you want to. Number six, don't accept anything that pays less than $2 a mile. I say that because my my normal um, uh, standard is a buck fifty per mile. Um, that's normal. I won't accept anything less than that. During a pandemic, since we're taking an extra risk and it's more dangerous, um, my suggestion two dollars and not uh, two dollars per mile minimum. You know, for ec increased, you know, uh, for the risk that you're taking, and yeah. Just the, you know, the extra, you know, shuffle and, and huffle that you're going through uh, because of this, you know, pandemic, uh, deli pandemic delivery situation. Uh, you, you know, treat yourself better. Hold your standard higher and don't accept anything less than $2 a mile. Unless, of course, it's on the way to another delivery. Like if it's a batched, uh, stacked order and it's in the same direction of a, of a good one that you're already taking then of course, yeah, that's the exception. Go ahead and accept it because you're going in that direction anyway and then you're just getting an extra, you know, five, you know, six bucks, whatever, uh, just for making a pit stop, you know, spending the same amount of gas, basically. Um, or if it's your last uh, delivery and it's in the direction of your house. Number seven and the last one is don't take anything that pays less than $9 during a pandemic. My normal guideline is seven. I, you know, I'll, I'll skip anything that pays less than seven dollars. You know, it's 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 not worth my time. You know, when I'm minusing gas and, and wear and tear. Okay, I'm barely making six. You know, maybe six bucks, probably closer to five. So I would say, do, again, for the same reason, increase of risk, the pandemic, coronavirus, nine dollars. Hold your standard a little bit higher. Nine dollars. Again, same exceptions. If it's already on the way to another one. Or if it's on your way home, last delivery, that's the exception. Otherwise, I wouldn't take anything less than nine. Why? You know, you deserve the extra pay. And those are seven tips for being a better pandemic DoorDash driver. Please like the video by tapping the thumbs up icon below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure that you subscribe by tapping the red button below the video. Uh, we publish videos on a weekly basis. I am Driver Man. Boom.